For years now, we've been following through on the shortage of police officers here in Ohio and nationwide and what cities are doing to bring in new recruits. Just last week, we learned that 21 police departments are getting money from the Department of Justice to hire 129 new officers. Anchor DeLon Dillard showed us how Brooklyn plans to spend some of that money, while investigator Sarah Buttison looked at how the funding will impact Cleveland. Tonight, News 5 anchor Tracy Carlos follows through yet again after learning what additional officers could mean to people waiting for answers. Bill Hodge thinks about the unanswered questions he has about his brother all the time. His brother Michael vanished nearly 20 years ago. The then 39-year-old disappeared from West 172nd Street near Puritus on March 6, 2004, after leaving a party. We've all missed him for long, and we would love to hear anything, you know? I mean, if you just have the little bit of news that would help. John Shea Boyd Bay's family wants answers, too. He went to visit an old friend at her apartment in Cleveland on September 16, 2019. He was murdered, his mother told me, as he was leaving. His killer never caught. His mom is recovering at the hospital from an illness, but spoke with me by phone. All day, that's all. I think about everything in that day. Two families waiting years for answers from Cleveland police. But with Cleveland police staffing at 1920 levels, Cleveland officers are stretched thin. In an attempt to help the shortage of police officers, the Department of Justice has just earmarked nearly $4 million for the city of Cleveland to hire an additional 30 police officers. It's news that the families of Michael and John Shea appreciate. They're always so busy and he's like constantly on the back burner, it seems like. So, I mean, hiring more officers, I think it's going to make a world of difference. I think that a uh, majority of them need to go towards the homicide unit and definitely working towards those cases that have not had any resolution. I spoke with the U.S. Deputy Attorney General about the funding and the challenges facing cities across Ohio to recruit and retain officers, including Cleveland. They are facing a huge array of challenges around this country, and they're being asked to do a lot more with less. And so we're trying to help them do more and meet the challenges that they confront. Uh, and this funding that I'm talking about today is just one aspect of that. And perhaps answer the questions that the Hodge and Bay families live with every day. We did reach out to Cleveland police recently on both cases. We were told both are open and active in Cleveland. Tracy Carlos, News 5.